turn. Alright, that pushes the team up. <laughs> we get double strike next turn. Look at this selfless Xavier. It's at 5-5. Five, five. Is that supposed to be that way? <laughs> That's a big wolf, baby. <laughs> wolf. Hey, everybody. Welcome back, and thanks so much for taking the time to watch Hello Good Game. Kaldheim is here. It is the pre-release event. Thank you so much, Wizards, for the invite. First up, we are playing one of the most broken decks that I think will play standard for the months to come. Abzan Angels. Let's take a look. We have a nice mix of new cards along with returning cards within Abzan Angels. That's the color combination of white, black, and green. Within this particular deck, you know, we're just splashing green for a little bit of fun, uh, taking Orzhov Angels to the next level. And I think, you know, it's also uh, will require, you know, very little uh, additional um, you know, work on your behalf to, you know, incorporate green into the deck and start, uh, you know, taking it from a 7 to an 11 uh, within the power level. So we'll break down the deck list, talk about strategies, synergies, all that for you guys, because, uh, of course, it is all brand new. So if you do find any value within the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel to a friend, and let's get into it. Four copies of a giant killer. Now this is a returning card, a 1-2, in which we can pay two, plus tapping it to tap another target creature. We can also use chop down for three at instant speed as the adventure. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Four copies of selfless savior, another returning card, 1-1 one, one selfless savior, uh, can be sacrificed to give another creature that we control indestructible until the end of turn. Into some newer cards here, Youthful Valkyrie, four copies of this, our first two drop, a 1-3 with flying, and whenever another angel enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Youthful Valkyrie. Four copies of our Angelic Ascension, a returning card at instant speed, our last two drop, exile target creature or planeswalker, its controller creates a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying. Into our three drops now, one of the most powerful cards in the deck, four copies of Righteous Valkyrie, a 2-4 with flying, and whenever another angel or cleric enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. As long as you have at least seven or more life than your starting total, creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. It's very cheap. It's a three drop, and it's a stackable ability because it's non-legendary, so your creatures can potentially get plus four, plus four, plus six, plus six. <laughs> wow. Four copies of Mithros of uh, Nethroi, Instant speed for three. If Selesnya colors, uh, you know, or of course Abzan colors, a green, white, and black were spent to cast the spell, you can destroy target non land permanent. If not, if only, you know, colorless and black is spent to cast the spell, we can only destroy uh, a target creature. So, you know, we can destroy planeswalkers, enchantments, whatever it happens to be with Mythos of Nethroi, which I really like. Three copies of the first Iron Games and Enchantment Saga. When it enters play, create a 1 1 white human soldier creature token. Next up, put three plus one plus one counters on target creature you control. Fine, uh, actually, not finally. It's got four triggers, which is kind of crazy. If you control a creature with power four or greater, draw two cards. And then finally, create a gold token in which we can sacrifice to add a mana to our pool of any color. This is really nice. You know, the draw is awesome. The plus three counters is cool too. And the token is exactly what we're looking to do. But even better than that, our first four drop is Fajara's Retribution. When it enters play, create a 4-4 white angel warrior creature token with flying and vigilance. You know, a Sierra angel costs five uh, and it's the same card. This costs one less, uh, which is really cool. Plus you have all of these other abilities. Until the end of your turn, angels you control gain tap this uh, creature to destroy target creature with power less than this creature's power. Uh, you know, absolutely amazing. Of course, your angels with vigilance can attack first and then tap themselves after the attack to remove your opponent's creatures. And, it, you know, if it couldn't get better than that, don't worry, it does. Angels you control gain double strike until the end of turn. You know, all of your angels now have double strike and, you know, that's going to get the job done for you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Three copies of our Zika's Chariot. Now, this is one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's a 4-4 legendary artifact vehicle. When it enters play, create two... 2-2 two, two cat creature tokens, and whenever the chariot attacks, you can create a token that's a copy of target token you control. Uh, we'll get into those tokens in a second. One copy of Legion Angel in the main board, 4-3 with flying. When it enters the battlefield, you can reveal a card named Legion Angel from your sideboard, bringing it into your hand. Obviously, there's three copies of that in our sideboard. We also have Amiria's Call for 7 at sorcery speed to create two 4-4 four, four white angel warrior creature tokens with flying. Non-angel creatures you control gain indestructible until your next turn. It comes untapped unless we pay three life. 
life on the opposing side. Two passages, four Indatha Triumphs, four Branch Loft Boulder Loft Pathways, four Bright Climb Grim Climb Pathways. Uh, we've got a Force, we've got a Swamp, and we've got five planes in the deck. So talk about strategies and synergies. We make 4-4 four, four Angels with the Retribution. We make 4-4 four, four Angel Tokens with the Ascension. We copy those Angel Tokens with our Chariot, right? That's going to be our main go-to. Obviously, when these Angels are entering play, uh, we have Amiria's Call to make the tokens as well. Those Angels enter play. They give you four life through the Righteous Valkyrie. Righteous Valkyrie is stackable. Righteous Valkyrie gives all your creatures plus two, plus two. Could be plus four, plus four. So, you know, now we've got the Youthful Valkyrie, the Angelic Ascension, the Righteous Valkyrie, Legion Angel, the Retribution, uh, all in the air that are going to be able to tap to remove our opponent's creatures and have double strike. Of course, we do have protection through the Savior, removal through the Killer, and uh, Mythos. And, uh, you know, it's just a very, very powerful deck. If your opponent doesn't have removal and you curve out, uh, there's no stopping angels. People will be running field wipes 100% of the time. Uh, Doomscar is going to become very relevant because if not, decks like this will run rampant. You know, I think we had a 75% win rate in like the 10 plus matches we played today uh, in our event, which is cool. So, you know, it's performing very, very well against some of the first decks people are playing. Whether it stays that way, we're going to have to wait and see. But, uh, you know, it's the last days of the season. I'm looking to push really aggressively with brand new decks uh, in the last couple days. And, you know, this is going to be one of the ways we do it. So let me know what you think of the deck in the comments below. Uh, and, of course, enjoy the gameplay footage. The Retribution is insane. And then the, you know, synergy within the Chariot is a lot of fun, too. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel to your friend. Bug them to download uh, Magic on their Android device. Support the channel financially if you can afford to do so on Twitch, Patreon, YouTube, and our Amazon link. Thanks so much, you guys. Enjoy the gameplay footage, and we'll be back to wrap up with our final thoughts in a few. All right, you guys, last match of the day. I just missed a recording on the other one. We finally get the new scene. That's awesome. That's pretty. Right? It's like a an ice rink reflecting into the sky, but somehow has all of this etching in it. Don't ask questions! Let's play slow. Yeah, nice new board. Looks pretty. If you guys haven't seen, we also have the new bear in play. He gets lit. He's drinking it up. Mono red, hey? We don't have a turn three, so we may as well just play it on turn three and hold up our ascension all in one. As we get it on top. Alright, we're just gonna throw the Valkyrie in. Killer on top. Legion Angels ready to hit. We could also Ascension with our Chariot, eventually. Uh, we know that there's interaction on their behalf here. So we're just trying to wait it out, see what it is. You know, as long as there's two creatures in play, then, you know, they're only dealing with one, and we can Ascension the other next turn. So, you know, we're still trying to f flood the field. Three mana. Two red, one blue. So they're playing Giants. They're playing Is It Giants. Okay, that's a two-for-one. And if we can lead them down the trail of two-for-ones while we're placing our cards, that's going to be good. They've got that sweeper that deals damage to all non-giants, though, so we need to be careful of this. Down to 15.
we can pull another land. That'll be ideal. Nice. As long as Giant's Grass remains on the field. They can have an angel. I'll be taking my angel back, though. Right. Much better. Uh, and I think the chariot's a really good option for us. They'll trade, obviously, right? That's the super easy trade. Only two cards in hand, though, really. Three cards. This uh, Giant's Grasp is really good. Really, really nice. I liked that. Just taking our creature. Stop it. <laughs> I don't like that. Tectonic Giant in play. That's okay. They pay life for that. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Are on games and play. Tap our two kitties. We should probably just tap this thing, shouldn't we? And screw the rest. Typically, we like to make angels, but you know, let's just deal lethal. They have to wipe the field here. And we're still sitting on more Legion Angels to come back with. Nice. Another Giant's Grasp. Taking our Legion Angel. It's tapped, though. And now this is tapped as well. Good game. Angels. They're doing work today for us. I really like it. I wish I could play it all day, but we need to check out some other decks, too. No creatures, but the land looks good into not only a Retribution, but our Chariot. And, you know, we've had a lot of fun with that so far. Oh, there's a creature. Loving it. Yorion, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. This isn't CGB, is it? Uh, we'll crack this here. We can grab a green source. Slesnia in play. We picked up a swamp for next turn. Throw our Righteous Valkyrie in play. Sure. You know, we should maybe have Selfless Savior out first, but it's just going to be Exile with these colors anyways. Omen of the Hunt. Omen of the Hunt. Uh-oh. <laughs> nice. Wow. 
whatever. Toss the dog. We're still in the air, right? And that's the important thing. No mana for the turn, uh, which is the, the heartbreaking part. All right, there's more removal. Another omen of the hunt, that's okay. Lance, whatever. Carry it in, then we drop on top of it, right? Giant killer in play in case we have to sack something. We don't want to sack the chariot. Let's see if we can get away with it. I don't know. Looking a little risky here. A little scary! We'll do our best, though. Moment play. That's good for us. Really, really good for us. So, Retribution in play. This is the combo wombo, you guys. You see me do it once, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna blow our opponent's minds. Uh, and then probably just get wiped <laughs> after. But hey, we'll do our best. Tap our putty tats. Then we're making copies of our angel. We kill the 2 2. So we're just dodging wipes. Hopefully. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. They have a lot of cards, though, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, so sad. We get hit on evens. It's not the worst thing. Like, it could be... It could be worse. Do they have instant speed jazz? Eliminate? Something like this? They do, don't they? Heartless act. Nice. Okay. Are they playing any original cards here? You know what I mean? Just like... Only play old cards? Like, you're just playing... <laughs> like, what's the point? We gain access to all of these new cards, and people are just like, you know what, I'm going to play that old deck I really like. <laughs> i put this one card into it, and we'll call it good. Come on, man. There we go. Look at you playing a new card. They put Kaya in the Yorion deck. Wow. All right, we lose our chariot. At this point, it's worthless. We're just top decking. And uh, yeah, really cool match here. <laughs> Double strike angels, I wish. Oh uh, man. I know we're not supposed to con be conceding, but Yorion decks are so slow. It's just like... 10 minute turns.
There he is. Bounce it all, baby. Four cards in hand. Sleepy emote. Yorion, Yorion, Yorion. Alright, good game. Let's, uh... Be on our way. Because, you know, there's ten more minutes before they kill us, and it's just not worth my time. Alright, our opponent goes first. Human token, VIP. There's a lot of those human tokens out there today. Alright, so we'll probably take a black source with the passage, even though we want green as well. You know, it's, it's not as important to get for us. Grab that black source. Three youthful Valkyries. Now that's interesting. Cultivate. Very nice within gruel colors. Now I'm interested. Oh, <laughs> team your colors. So ultimatum time, right? We know this. So we're going to need to instant speed giant killer. Their big baddie. So let's keep that in hand. Right, they'll probably use Vorinclex. Ooh, Invasion of the Giants. Nice. You may draw a card, then you may reveal a giant card from your hand when you do deal two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. There's no counter magic here. This is really nice for us. Valkyries get pushed up. Any creatures are gonzo next turn, and then we gain double strike. So this two damage is irrelevant. Right? That's absolutely nothing. Isn't this field wipe us? No, just giant spells are two less to cast next turn. Which is good. There's six available mana. Ramping. Okay. Let's just push these other angels up. Right? It's a good hit. It's not quite enough. Right? We're really close. Try and play. And I think we should keep this in the pocket. Let's see if we get Ugand. Really, really close. We can slay Ugin, but it's going to be a hard restart after that, right? They're thinking about it. There's the land. So here comes the Genesis Ultimatum. No! The Freezing Flame, and then the Genesis Ultimatum. Because it costs less to cast, it only costs two. And they had nine. Nice. Oh my god, two Quake Ringers. Oh, that's good. Good game. <laughs> Woo! So close. Those guys need a little bit of haste, I think, though, right? Our opponent goes first, our land looks great. We have a Righteous Valkyrie, which is awesome. I think you get a giant killer in play. Blue typically doesn't play big monsters, so get it out there. Are you seriously playing crabs? Really cool, bro. Good for you. <laughs> Can we get hundreds of new cards, like 400 plus new cards, and you're like, yeah, you know what I'm gonna play today? The Rune Crab! <laughs> oh god. What a joke. 
What a joke. <sighs> Just shameless, eh? Counterspell? Are you revolutionizing the crab mill game? It's a decent deck with lots of new cards in it. <laughs> What's this? The, the rune crab omen of the sea combo here? <laughs> Favorite passage? Is that one of the new cards? <laughs> yeah. Right on. Rock and roll. Maybe it's a sanctuary. Or Wari's ruins. <laughs> Anyways. We've got uh, 34 cards left. Let's end our turn. You know, there's going to be a bigger threat than this crab. At the very least, I want to be spending their mana on their turn. So it's like, let the mill hit, whatever. Really original. <laughs> Some of these new cards we're seeing here. Right now, they've got to spend their mana to protect the crab. Yeah, disappointing. <laughs> We've got someone in our Twitch chat right now that thinks it's disappointing that I'm upset that someone's playing just a crab mill deck in the opening day. <laughs> what do you guys feel like on YouTube? Is this uh, unacceptable of me to just be, you know, overall tired of the crabs? <laughs> oh my god, an extra turn. Groundbreaking. What will they do with it? Play more lands on top of the crab? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, into the story. Nice. Where's my sleep emote? That would be good here. <laughs> crab, 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 crab. All right, now we're talking. Let's play into some counter magic, right? <laughs> Uno counter spell coming up. Didn't say please. I saw it coming. One of those brand new cards. Smash in. Double block. Down to six. Giant killer in play. Alright. Mill 17. I don't doubt it. <laughs> I do not doubt it. Uh, already down to 14. Let's get a couple of cacophonies in play, right? It should go, bro. <laughs> In case they forgot. <sighs> ah, sleep, sleep, sleep. All right, so it needs to deal combat damage. Magic mirror in play. All right, that's our seventh land.
Let's smash home, baby. Let's get them. Bet that crab doesn't block flyers. All right, we get in for three damage. Down to three. Down to three. They got five cards to utilize here. And they have to mill 12. So, you know, it's not impossible. Annoying. And not impossible, though. <sighs> the crab life. Yeah, they could even bust out more extra turns on us, right? Oh, that's an exile. For seven. Bombs me in play. Milleroni coming our way. Three cards in hand, five available mana. Let's cycle the Triumph. Oh, another land. And we all have flying. So let's push in. Borrower can bounce and block, but I still don't think it's enough. We could get the giant killer back and then like block it. We get the win. Get out of here, crabs. Get out of here, crabs. At least it wasn't full out rogues, right? You gotta give them that. We'll give them that, right? <laughs> Going first, three land in hand, missing a black source. Ah, we'll still keep it. This needs to be uh, planes. And then we're just looking for a swamp. Just uh, waiting for our opponent here. Let's get after it. Valkyrie in play. Then we have the Iron Games, if not removal. Trying to get that black source out as soon as we can. All right. We're out here. We're out here, you guys. Blood Chief's Thirst, out of the gate. Don't shit there do this to me. <laughs> Are on games, sure. One one token. Our opponent's turn. So worst case scenario, we get the gold counter out of this. And that can be our black source for one of these. I have faith that we'll pull another, though. Just one black source. Yeah, we do have the Bright Climb. We have the Triumphs. We have Passages. Nightmare takes the youthful Valkyrie. Bummer. Is that it? Is that it? Blessed be thy land draw. We'll lose one of these unless we take this. Oh well. We'll get a double draw because now we've got two 4-4s four and I doubt they wipe the field. So we lose our Retribution. Both of these are good cards too, though, but the Retribution is just so good. You have to take it. Yeah. <laughs> it's game-breaking. Alright, there's our fourth land. Are we going to see an event on even? Blood Chief's Thirst on the token. Okay. Removal on the other as well. Nice. Okay, so that's not good. We don't get the draw, which is so sad. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna kill this tome. Sprig off, Randy. They dealt with us really nice there. Would have been cool to have the Angelic Ascension up. Oh well. Oh well. Calling Barons. I see who we're dealing with. I see. Interesting. I mean, I have no problem sacrificing permanence. Grab a white land source here. So they'll want to do it now, right? Really close. But they can activate that multiple times, right? So we toss our ascension. Uh, we could have actually lost life there probably instead. It's cool that it gives us the choice. I mean, we do want to get 27, but... Let's just lose life. I'm um, in play. Pass our turn here. I like how you can pay for it to untap it. It's really good. Uh, lose three life. Nice. Lose three life. <laughs> oh no. Right, you can see just how much damage that thing's doing. Angels go! Believe in you. We could probably start sacking lands. We can go as low as we can. First. Three cards in hand. They're looking for removal. We have them on a two turn timer. Nice. Brutal. Brutal, that's game. That's, uh, that's gonna be a good game. <laughs> Very nice. Necromancer in play. Okay. Okay. Alright, good game. Whoa. Getting beat down, baby. Our opponent goes first, but we have three lands, so we shouldn't complain. Hello, good game. Turn one vessel. Seems fair. Let's play slow. I want to play the giant killer just to block it, but whatever. Valkyrie can do the same thing next turn. 
Oh, cleric. So this is not good. That's a 3 3. We can use lots of removal, I guess. This is bad. <laughs> nice. Using our, our tricks against us. <laughs> we should have killed the Valkyrie and left the cleric there. I didn't realize they'd buff already. Okay. And this righteous Valkyrie is tough, you guys. It's tough. All right, we go first. Angels in the house. A lot of land here. Hopefully, we can pull our. Saga of Doom. What are we looking for? Our Pajara Retribution. It is the truth. All right, let's get after it. Hey, as long as we're not playing rogues, right? <laughs> Only one rogue match so far today. Uh, a little earlier, which is pretty funny. Youthful Valkyrie, not much. Uh, and we don't really have a turn three. Holding up creature removal, I guess. Elves, if it's Golgari. I was thinking Vorinclex could be cool with uh, Pokranos as well. You know, it's a 6-6, six, six, but it would be a 12-12, and then if it escaped, it would be a 24-24, um, which would be pretty cool. Alright, so they want to remove the Valkyrie, but they're not sure if that's, like, warranted or not, I guess. Because it's not really a great card. <laughs> the Ascension basically protects us as well. So let's just hold out. Right, we've got instant speed interaction. Whether it be removal, um, or protection. Alright, Wild Lord Preserver is a thing, and it can block us. Let's just take it, right? Four mana, looking for a Retribution. Removing their preserver. So we know it's Golgari Elves. So, you know, Herald is really good. Um, you know, Tyvar himself uh, is really nice. Since we know it's Elves, we can probably Giant Killer and then Ascension the Giant Killer. Let's get our chariot in play, and maybe we can make copies of the angels. 
right? When it enters the battlefield, create two 2-2 two, two cats, and then whenever the chariot attacks, create a token that's a copy of target token you control. So we could uh, crew for four, attack, and make a copy of a 4-4 four, four angel. That's probably our best bet. We also have the chariot in play now before we're pulling our retribution, which will make that 4-4 four, four for us as well, other than the ascension, so... You know, whichever way that does happen to go for us, whether we have to giant kill her into an ascension, into a chariot attack, or a retribution. I think both are relatively positive here. Our opponent's got four available mana. One to the bottom. Oh, here's Harold. Let's see if they get a Tyvar out of it. No tie bar, but they do get the elf. Nice. So they're probably going to take the preserver. Paragon's fine, but I think the preserver is just generally better. Got reach. Right, reach from angels is very good. Our turn. Sad. So, I guess that's just what we do. Giant killer in play. Angelic Ascension. Yes. Then we Chariot for four. Yup. Everybody attacks then. Chariot makes a copy of the Angel. Yup. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. It's just an Angel deck. Abzan Angels is the truth. Right? Until people catch on, and then they're running Doomscar all day. <laughs> but for a little bit, I think we're going to get away with it. Right? Ah, they're figuring it out. They're like, what? How did he do that? What is this chariot? <laughs> what is this chariot? Chariot of Angels. Look at the kitty cat on there. As soon as I seen this art, I was like, wow. Miss my is going to demand a cat bed just like that pretty soon. <laughs> right? Just like this gold and emerald chariot to drag her around in. <laughs> it's a cat wagon, baby. I think she'd like it. So we can make angels every turn with the chariot, which is nice. But I'm still worried. I'm still worried. They kick a paragon, which is actually okay for us. Right? So they get to dig for another... Uh, creature. They get themselves a tracker. Which is fine. And then there's no mana left over for the Preserver. When another, uh, another non-human enters play, the Preserver can sink X mana into itself and put plus one plus ones. Oh, there is one left over mana. My bad. So that can block our angels, believe it or not. Our turn. I say block our angels, but... What I really mean to say is die to giant killer. <laughs> oh! Oh, that hurts! More angels. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I would build this cat chariot in real life if I was a millionaire for my cat. Maya would be straight up queen. Look at this win rate, you guys. Angel is just tearing it up. Like, that's so gross. <laughs> Going first is absolutely lovely. Free land gets us pretty close to the retribution. Triome helps us uh, accomplish that goal as well. Gilded Goose, ramp, uh-oh, uh-oh!
I mean, just having the retribution is going to be really nice. Cultivate ramp. Okay. So they're just going towards uh, Vornclex, probably. Right? Right, just Valkyrie's stackable as well, which is like big wolves. Let's see if we can uh, figure it out. I don't want Vornclex to be in play ever, though, right? <laughs> That's like super oppressive. Green has that old growth troll as well, um, which I quite like. What else do they have for us? I love new metas, right? Where you just don't know every single deck, every single play that's coming ahead of time. It's like, you can actually react to new things. The world tree into another cultivate. Okay. Is it mono green tree town? Yeah. Let's just go for it. We get to kill the goose. That's like pretty good. They're on five, they drop to six. We should be okay. Brings the world tree online. Right? So they're whatever they want to be now. No longer stuck to mono green. And they're on six. They just ramp. They are at four now. Which makes me feel much more comfortable. Our turn. All right, that pushes the team up. <laughs> we get double strike next turn. Look at the selfless Xavier. It's a 5-5. Five five. Is that supposed to be that way? <laughs> That's a big wolf, baby. <laughs> wolf. Stop it. <laughs> we go first. That's great. Pay life for it. I don't think they'll be aggro. Maybe. We'll see. They're playing slow. Which is great news for us. Let's take our hit. Hopefully we pick up another land. You know, if not, we do have our ascension to hold up at instant speed. Unless the removal's here. I doubt it, though. No land does suck. Alright, let's interrupt the Heartless Act. Grab a 4-4. Four, four. Hit for 1. Land and play, we can still protect uh, the Angel with the Selfless Savior. Three mana in play. I wonder if they're playing Kaya Angels as well. Okay. So they're tapped. Let's grab a black source here.
We're a little shy. This is a good card to remove. But what if they drop a Retribution? Let's hit for four. That is their fourth. So if they play a Retribution, I'm pretty happy that we held up our Mithros. Interesting. It is a cleric. That's fine. They hit for two. Push up our one one. Build a skyclave. And then that's a decent hit for nine. Woof. I want to get this retribution down before they get theirs down. Right? That's going to be the key component to us winning here. The chariot would be nice, but... Good game. Angels! Ripping it up! Alrighty, let's get after it. Angels in the house today. Look at this little guy. Whoa! <laughs> that's how he turns colors? Yes. That's so awesome. Dog in play. I like it. His fish turns into a skeleton here. That's so cool. Boom! Back to brown bear, baby. <laughs> I love it. Elves. Back to the elves. No attacks here. Ending our turn. One Valkyrie coming your way. Any big elves we can chop down, but you know, big elves. Listen to those words that don't make sense. <laughs> Little elves. And the bear transforms. Boom! Right? Drinks up that special Kaldheim brew and, uh, you know, totally. It's transmogrification, baby. Woodland Mystic. Caps for mana. Angel Clown. Sit for two. Not much now, but wait till next turn. I think angels are going to be very, very strong, right? Uh, especially if people want to be playing rogues all the time. They do get their Tyvar out. He can zero to make elves. Plus one, you know, uh, death touch, plus untap it. The really only way to get to minus six is through the plus, but the zero ability is better, like consistently. All right. We can do this. Death touch goes. It still has reach. Re let's remember that, right? Discounted Sierra Angel. Sure. Gain four life plus a plus one plus one. Sure. Let's start hitting Tybar. 
We block two, tie bars down to one. Come on. Let's make a show of it. Tie bar can plus and also zero for another elf. I like the zero ability. And just making lots of elves. Let's play with our bear while we wait. Oh, the Elvish Warmaster. This is really nice. Whenever you play an elf for the first time each turn, you get to create a 1-1 one, one elf. Which is just, like, quite groovy. So even Tyvar's zero ability triggers the Warmaster. So, you know, Tyvar could make a 1-1, one, one, and then the elf master would trigger making another 1-1. One, one. They go in with the Skimfar Avenger, though, uh, which is really good. Really, really good. Okay. And then they do make another 1-1, one, one, so. They're going wide. Luckily, we've got Flyers. Taking the Scry 1. I, I'm missing my... Uh, Hey, draw on emotes. I need them. So we can kill the uh, War Master for sure. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, this is Vigilance, which is just so cool. Right? And I don't think anything else is really worth killing. The Berserker, I guess. Oh, that thing's got reach. Whoops, we should have attacked with that Valkyrie instead. Dang it. That's on me. That's on me, bro. Oh well. We could have killed the Avenger first. I think the chip damage to them is nice though. They're going to know it's the good game. They know it's over. Angels are too powerful. Unless they just picked up a field wipe. You know, all of these angels gain double strike. Which is just silly. Right? It's just silly. It's too much. <laughs> War Master's cool, sure. But what do you do against this power level of angels? <laughs> Nothing competes. Angels are just OP. Elves are good. Angels are great. Let's get them, baby. <laughs> Yikes. Um, you know, that's like more than an ember cleave. You know what I mean? Holy. All right, final thoughts. Angels are busted. Uh, they have flying. Sorry, rogues. I think it's going to be, uh, you know, a new balancing act for angels where we stop the mill through removal, uh, maybe some form of graveyard mitigation, and, uh, you know, just the angels stop the rogues, right? Rogues cannot compete with 4-4 four, four flyers. Soaring Thought Thief isn't doing anything. Yeah, there's Death Touch on the Enforcer. 
you know, that's not my problem. And, uh, you know, no longer can the 0-3 just mill us and defend perfectly because we're in the air. We're smashing home for 8, uh, for 12, and then we get double strike. We're smashing home for a lot of damage. So Angels is looking very good and called time, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the channels to your friend. Uh, friends, uh, I'm hoping. <laughs> Support financially on Twitch, Patreon, YouTube, and our Amazon link if you can afford to do so. Again, thank you guys so much for checking out this called time pre-release footage. Uh, from your boy, Hello Good Game, and we'll see you soon in the next video.